Hello everyone, welcome to Almighty Tricks. So from today, we are starting a new playlist for solid design principle. So in this playlist, we will be understanding each and every principle to design a great software with simple examples. So uh, stay tuned and subscribe to this channel. So before before going uh, going to the actual content, uh, so basically we need to have some prerequisite like uh, we need to have basic understanding on the OOPS concept like uh, abstraction, inheritance, polymorphism, encapsulation, method overloading, and method overriding. Okay, so uh, uh, let's uh, let's understand one thing. Like uh, before uh, dive into the actual content, we need to keep in mind. Uh, for this playlist and upcoming any uh, any system designing playlist that uh, like uh, there is no single um, concrete answer for any design okay so let's say i am designing uh, a software in a way and someone design same software in different way okay so we can have multiple uh, multiple way to design a software so there is no concrete uh, answer for designing a software okay so design design a software itself a very subjective uh, but we have to be logical and we need to apply some uh, common sense to understand or design a um, software okay so uh, so let's say let's say every design uh, so every design will have some uh, trade-off uh, so if you know about the problems in your design like uh, let's say if you are designing a software and you know there is some corner cases where uh, like uh, some uh, some problems will be there and if you are uh, very much sure that in the long run this uh, problem will not uh, occur in in that case uh, you can go ahead with the current design whatever you design for the software okay so these are the uh, some uh, some uh, notes we need to keep in mind uh, for future videos or playlist okay so now let's get get started with the actual content uh, solid design principle okay so uh, let's let's break uh, break the sentence and let's understand each word of solid design principle so also in general what is the meaning of principle so principle means what principle means uh, guidelines or foundations or rooms okay so by by seeing those principles or guidelines we can we can do something right so uh, so now understand what is design so here design means what software design we are talking about the software design so in total if if, if i say software design guideline or software design foundation okay so uh, so so solid means what solid means what there are five principles okay so there are five five principles using these principles we can build a great software okay so what is what does great software design means the so great software design means it means a software can be extend, extensible let's say we want to add some features uh, in future so we can easily uh, add those features and code can be reusable code can be testable easily okay and maintainable maintainable means what and let's say we want to fix some bugs from the from the code or uh, uh, from or there are some bugs which we need to fix uh, in our code base so in that case if we are fixing any bugs that should not lead to a uh, lead to some other problem right so it should it should maintainable easily easily we can be fix the bugs okay so uh, so basically the solid design uh, basically it introduced by uh, a famous uh, scientist uh, named robert j martin uh, in year of 2000 but the solid acronym was introduced by michael feather uh, okay so let's let's see the what are the solid uh, acronym so let's uh, let's see each and each each and every letter of the solid okay so s stands for single responsibility principle o stands for open close principle l stands for list of substitution principle i stands for interface segregation principle d stands for dependency inversion principle okay so that's all about the introduction to the solid so from uh, from the next video we are going to understand each principle with simple example so stay tuned
like and subscribe to this channel thank you for watching this video